Hi guys, in this video we're going to go shopping at this adorable vintage toy shop in Hongdae called Pixie Toy. But first, I want to say thank you to Skillshare who is sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Some of the class topics include painting with watercolors, kawaii drawing, brush lettering, and how to grow your Instagram and TikTok following. I recently took a class on gouache painting with Angela Mackay, and in this class we learned how to draw florals and botanicals and how to make a pattern using gouache paint combined with Photoshop. It was really interesting. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So the hours of the store are really weird. I think they open around maybe 2 p.m. and then they take a break from 4 to 5 and they close later in the evening. I'm not sure what time, but this is in a university neighborhood, so I guess it caters to the students who are probably out and about later in the evening. I can't tell you how many times I walked by the store in the morning or in the early afternoon and it was closed and I was just thinking when does this store ever open and I even came here a couple of times like specifically wanting to visit the shop and I was there during their break time so if you're visiting this store then make sure to look up the hours and time your visit carefully as you can see, this shop is just so adorable. They carry a lot of items that are from Japan and everything is super cutesy and girly and they even have some vintage items from the US like really vintage My Little Ponies which had a totally different look than the My Little Ponies of today. And they also have a small selection of clothes and accessories and other items. And I think this is just such a lovely curation of kawaii things. So a lot of things in this store bring back memories of my childhood and also the time that I spent in Japan. There were some dollhouses including My Little Pony houses and there was also like a Kiki and Lala Little Twin Stars dollhouse type of thing. And this store definitely speaks to my inner child. I brought my daughter Sienna who was probably five or six when we went and I think we were both going nuts. There are just so many adorable things in this store. That little Rilakkuma in this stroller is so cute and Sienna ended up getting those baby bottles for her dolls. Do you guys see that pink chandelier in the corner? That is from a store in Japan called Swimmer that went out of business a few years ago now and when I was living in Japan I didn't really appreciate that store there was one in my local shopping mall and I went there and everything was so cute but I was kind of overwhelmed by all of this stuff and it doesn't seem that special in Japan because you can find really cute stuff everywhere like at Daiso or the supermarket but when I think back it was really a special store, so I'm sad that it went out of business. I love this little corner with all the Care Bears and Popples and plushies set up. I've definitely seen that scene in, I think, another vintage toy store called Jelly Bubble. She has like a su vintage suitcase with a bunch of Care Bears and things in it, so I don't know who came up with it first, but it's really a cute idea. I don't think that any of those items are for sale though, and I'm not sure if the items on her shelves here are for sale either. I think they're mostly for display, and yeah, this looks like the kind of stuff that you could win in a UFO catcher in Japan, which is the Japanese style claw machine. I think I was trying to figure out if these were real or fake lollipops, but I think that they're actually real candy. Really cute and really pretty how they're packaged though. So if you're watching this, I am a fully grown adult with children of my own, but this is something that I wanted for myself. I love Little Twin Stars and I just fell in love with this little playset. 
It's like a Kiki and Lala playhouse and it's made of cheap plastic. I think it's by Tomika, which makes toys in Japan and I saw something like this in Japan and at that time I didn't want to buy my daughter's um, plastic toys. I was into buying wooden toys so I never bought that playset for them but now that it's not available anymore it's something that I thought I really wanted for my kids. Even though it's not the type of thing that they play with a lot, it's just everything is so cute and pretty. I don't really like how kids toys are always made of like cheap plastic and they just look so junky. I mean some of the things here are really cute but I wish that toy companies would make nicer toys that could withstand the test of time like something that you would want to hold on to and save for many years for your grandkids. I have purchased some cheap plastic toys and wooden toys as well and when I buy things for my kids I try to get aesthetically pleasing items that don't offend my sensibilities like some of those really bright loud um, baby toys I just really didn't like so as soon as my kids passed that phase I donated them or sold them and there are some other toys that I purchased that I really liked and held on to they were more expensive, but I'm probably never going to get rid of them. I'm probably just going to keep them and save them for my, hopefully, my grandkids one day. However, I do kind of feel like I feature a lot of junk on my channel, and I definitely am guilty of accumulating a lot of junk. But some of this cute stuff they only make in plastic, and you know, you have to find balance, right? This little basket had a bunch of little charms and they looked like they were handmade resin pieces. This is something that I wanted to try at some point. I think resin looks so fun, but because of the smell, I just haven't gotten into that yet. And that was a vintage My Little Pony poster. I don't know where she got this, but it's so cute. I was explaining to Sienna that those are the old style of My Little Ponies because at the time she was really into My Little Ponies such a sucker for these trinket trays. I don't know why I love them so much. I just like piling up all my cute junk on them. And this is a little velvety shell mirror that was really pretty. These look like some items that came from the store Swimmer. If I knew that it was going to go out of business, I would have bought so much stuff and just like stocked up. Even though it's all plastic junk, but it's really cute plastic junk. These look like handmade keychains made from supplies purchased from the Dongdaemun Beads District, which is an absolute gem. If you guys are into crafting and you're in Seoul, you have to visit it. This little unicorn bag had a swimmer tag on it. Over here you can see the swimmer chandelier. It's actually a thing that you can use to hold your laundry and dry your laundry because in Japan most people don't have a dryer and they hang dry everything. So it's really useful to hang your socks on and things like that. And I was actually able to find it on Mercari, which is the Japanese eBay. So I bought two of them. And when I was assembling one of them, the handle broke. And I don't really know how to fix it because it's just cheap plastic. And then the other one I have hanging in my laundry room. I told the girls that I was going to hang it in their room, but there's really nothing for me to hang it on in the room. So it's in my laundry room. I think this store actually has its own line of stationery. I mean, this was the first time that I saw this kind of packing tape with a design on it. I'm sorry, it's not focused. I'll insert a clip of a clearer picture of the tape.
It was so unique and cute. And later I saw some at Artbox. But I think that one must have been a custom one made by the owner of the store, which is so cool. One thing I noticed that was kind of odd was even though this is a store that's geared more towards adults and I would say probably college students given the neighborhood, it does carry a lot of kids things like baby bottles and these toy shopping carts. I guess it kind of matches with the whole aesthetic of the store with like vintage My Little Pony and stuff like that but I just thought it was a little bit odd. I really enjoy looking through these little baskets of trinkets like when they have a box of mixed stickers like this and stationery I like to go through it and look at every single one. These little cats and bunnies look like something that I want out of the UFO catcher. Sorry I keep saying that but everything in this store looks like it came from a game center. Well not everything but a lot of stuff does including these plushies right here. They have the tag with the Japanese writing on it and if you didn't know, almost everything that you get in a UFO catcher in Japan is like a licensed genuine item. Whereas when you play it in Korea, it's usually an imitation or a fake item from China, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know for sure, but that's just the general sense that I got. The quality of prizes in Japan was really amazing. If you guys are watching this video and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below and let me know what types of videos you're interested in and what you'd like to see on my channel. I told my daughter Sienna that she could pick out something and she knew what she wanted when she walked in the store. They have this display of all these um, plushies in the front window and Sienna knew that she wanted one of the bunnies and so we asked about it but those ones were not for sale unfortunately but it does make for a really adorable window display. I mean to be honest I was kind of glad that it wasn't available for sale because my kids already have way too many dolls and plush toys and on top of that we have a whole closet full of UFO catcher winnings and prize winnings that we've won from playing games in Japan and also in Korea. And I guess the reason I haven't given them to my kids yet is because I feel like they already have too many toys. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with some of those plushies. I'll probably just hold on to them and then give them to my kids slowly over time. I was trying to convince her not to get a plush toy because I can just give her one that we already have in our closet. And I was trying to get her to pick out like some sort of an accessory or something. Hello, it's me again, Sienna. Now this is the place where I found shell purse, a shell purse and baby, fake baby bottles that had like confetti I think in it. This was a really fun place to go. And, and I really enjoy this place because it's so cute and I like how it had all these little things and gadgets and um, little thingies that, that can do cool stuff or like toys. And I think there should be some in um, like different places like America or some other places with more cute shops and cafes. What were your favorite things in the store? Do you remember? Um, yeah, I think they had really cute stuffed animals, cute things, and I like how everything was, like all the gels were pink. Did you want a stuffed animal? Do you remember? Um, now I'm like, I like stuffed animals, but um, when I was there, I was like, eh, those stuffed animals don't really look good, but I kind of regret it. I regret getting the baby bottle. I wish I got the stuffed animals. I think you really wanted a stuffed animal, but they weren't selling them because it was in the front window and then the lady told you that it was just for display. But there's like stuffed animals on the shelves. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh yeah, I wanted a stuffed animal. Did you like hanging out with just me and you and not Valentina? Uh, yeah, but now Valentina just butts in with us. 
Do you miss going on like shopping and cafe dates with your mommy? With just the two of us? Yeah, but now Bounty uh, gets to stay home and I do school, so it's not fair. Well, it's also because of COVID. We can't like go out and do stuff like this anymore. We can't like get takeout of like ca- fun cafes. Well, it's not the same. Right? Yeah, you're right. Did you like the design of the store and like the furniture? What did you like? I like the store. I like about the furniture that everything was pink, and my favorite color is pink. But now she just says pink stands for pig. So. Do you want your room to be all pink like this? Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Like light pink or dark pink? I think I want like really like, not like really light pink because then Valentina will tease me because it's a color of a pink, I guess. Why do you care what she... I take it seriously all the time. If you could go back to the store now, what do you think you would buy? Um. I think I'd probably buy like minifigures or stuffed animals if they were on sale. Or arts and crafts, like arts and crafts, stationery, I'd probably get. I feel like we've gotten some of these things in like the Kawaii box Inco-crate. or Inku Crate, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like those stickers, we have those stickers, but I think we got those from a um, Kawaii Inco- box. No, we got them from Inku Crate. Mm-hmm. What kind of stationery would you get? Um, there's so many stationaries you can choose on, but uh, if I actually chose a stationery, it'd probably end up being the most expensive one. I know, you always get the most expensive item wherever we go without even knowing. Yep. Do you remember we have one of these unicorn plushies? I think we got it from Daiso. Yeah, we used them for my birthday, right? Like drinks? Did we? Yeah. Maybe we for took decorations. Because mm-hmm. I wanted a unicorn birthday. Well, the name of the store is called Pixie Toy. And is this what you imagined when you thought of that store? Um, no. If it's called Pixie Toy, then I'd probably think it's like um, from Tinkerbell because their place is called. Pixie Hollow. Um, I thought this store was really cute. Actually, it wasn't anything I imagined, but it was actually better. These plushies just make me eye every single one of them. I just want to take it out of the screen and keep it for myself. You already have some of those though, right? Yeah, but the big dog with the pirate. Um, I was so cute. I just want to take it out of the screen. Why we, have, didn't, we have that furniture too. Yeah, huh? but why didn't you buy the people? Um, everything was really expensive here. I actually didn't buy it from here. I got it online from Japan. Hmm. Did well, you want that playset? I think I asked you if you were interested in that playset and you said no. <laughs> <laughs> but now would you play with it? Um. No, probably not. Why? Because um, I'm now over some toys that you could just do your own voice to. But I do play it sometimes. Yes. Are you too? Are you a big girl now? I don't. <gasps> that pasta lo- looks like it has real ice cream in it. And doesn't have real ice cream in it. Do you remember eating that pasta? Uh, I remember it's like really creamy. Yeah, but was it sweet? Did it taste like ice cream? Uh, I don't, I can't remember what it tasted like, but I know it was creamy. It was a cream pasta. It was like a pink ice cream pasta, but it wasn't sweet. You like this place, Santa? I only count every day. Every day? What? <laughs> What'd you say? Sleep here every day. Every day? I wish. I wish we sleep here. You like that chair? Yeah. Me too. I wish so we could get one of those we for our own house. The toy shop. We went to this restaurant. To eat? To eat for dinner. Lunch? It's called Hongdae D5. Wait, we ate here for dinner or lunch? Probably dinner. Dinner? But don't we eat dinner with daddy? But that store is only open in the afternoon, so we must have gone here for dinner. 
I'm pretty sure we got really hungry in the evening then. Yeah. What did you like about this place? I liked how everything was pink. I liked how it had marble tables and then I also liked the fancy chandeliers that they had. And it just seemed so elegant. You like it a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Then why didn't you get the chandelier? Um, I don't know. Maybe I should get one of those in our home cafe, right? Um, actually... And replace that old style fan? No, I want to keep the fan. <laughs> Um, what did you like, if you came back, what would you want to order? I would probably order the ice cream pasta again, but maybe I would get a different color. But I think we actually got the best color, was, which was pink, but I think they also had like a light green color. I'm pretty sure I know why we got pink. Why? Because I like the color pink. And I do too. Really? But it's not my favorite color. You like purple. Yes. Mm -hmm. What if you had to go back and what type of salad would you get? Would you get the same thing or would you want to make your own? Uh, I'll probably get the same salad because it was salmon salad and I really like salmon. Ew. Ew. You always have to stick your finger in. <laughs> <laughs> I stick my finger in like... Why are you saying ew? Because I don't really like raw salmon without the soy sauce. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the ice cream pasta. Should we try to make this at home? Um, uh, most definitely not. Why? It's, it, it's like... It's just cream pasta. It looks like poo when I mix it around. It's you can put the noodles into the ice cream cone and eat a pasta ice cream cone. Pasta ice cream cone? Good. Doesn't the cone have sugar on it? Yeah? Uh, oh, oh, I don't think that tastes good. You don't like sugar? I like sugar, but it's not super good for you. Unfortunately, this restaurant is now closed. I don't think that it's easy for small restaurants to survive, especially in places like Home Day where new and exciting places are always popping up. So it must be really hard to maintain a long-standing business. I think the ice cream pasta was so cute and such a fun concept though, so leave a comment below if you guys want me to try and recreate this at home. As I mentioned when I was talking to Sienna, I actually ended up borrowing a lot of concepts from this restaurant when I put together a room in my house. So maybe one of these days I'll do a tour of that room once it's finished. I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.